Now, while the audience may be very familiar with these story champions, we will allow you each to introduce yourselves. I don't need myself to introduce myself. I need all of you to introduce myself. I am the mighty... CWF's number one public defender, Phoenix Wright! I'm so honored to be here at the Masters 8, champions among champions on this stage, but at the end of the night, there's going to be one verdict. Champion, we're guilty! Come on! You all know spicy! You all know what you want! Let's get this burrito bash going! of Justice, Newman Ryder! And I am so excited to be here, but honestly, I am so surprised as well. Because I am here among giants, and I asked Lacheda to decree, why me? And Lacheda, she looked at me and said, who gave you permission to talk to me? But then she said, Moomin, I've seen you working out there. I've seen you give 110%. I don't care how many times you get knocked down. I care that you get backed up. So are you going to take this spot, or am I going to give it to Matashita? So I know that with your help, together, there is nothing we cannot do. in point, Lupin the Third! And my number one with six bullets, Daisuke Jigen! And together we are the Lupin Gang! And it's been a while since we were back on this stage beating up a couple of superheroes for the Tag Team Championship belts. A lot has changed since then. That's true. With the Masters 8, the stakes have never been higher. The score, never bigger. But some things never change. Lupin Gang is still at business as usual. We're going to do what we do every show. And we're going to steal the whole damn show! Hold on. Don't steal when I hand the microphone to somebody else. Here you go. Well, they always say that you should save the best for last, and they have just proven who they think is best by making Gaston go last. Because there is one thing that I have here that no one else here does. I am the 24-7 Anything Goes champion. There is... Why would anyone want that? He's just mad he can't win it. 
But there is one shame to be had. This belt with its long and storied history, which began when Winter Soldier won it from Matt Ishida on stage zero. It has been through hundreds of competitors, and it has fallen upon disrepair. It has fallen upon darker times. If only there were someone who could revitalize this belt. If only there were a hero worthy to take on the challenge. Worthy to revitalize the 24-7 Anything Goes title. Mm. A challenge I would happily undertake. Yes. You see, Gaston, championship belts are very special. Every belt retains a little bit of essence from every champion and forebearer who's ever held it, thus imbuing it with a strength unlike any other. The title, the affirmation, the prestige. But... The 24-7 title. This title is different. No one has ever held this title long enough to get that power imbued inside of it. Yet its unique power allows it to still be strong. I am so intrigued by this that I would be honored to elevate this title. But on one condition. You will need to evacuate that title and give it to me. That much, Magamasa, I cannot do. Because this belt, by its very virtue of its power, must be won through contest. I have witnessed your capabilities. I was the one you handed the blackout title to last year. I know what you are capable of. They do not. So if you want this belt, you need to show everyone here why you are capable of carrying it. I see. This is a very, very noble point. Then I wager this. A gentleman's challenge for the man among men. You hold two titles, both with title and name and prestige. This is something I forged over a millennia ago. It has no name. It has no title. Surely something like this would be no match for the man among men. Wait, that, that's not a belt, that's a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> like a foolish, simple man to not understand. What is a bracelet if not a belt for my wrist? Very well, Magamasa. For the 24-7 title, we shall pit my man among men belt versus your unnamed belt and see which one comes out stronger. Such a shame, such a shame. A title with such a young life, but there is still more to it, even damaged and broken. I will see to it that even the Men Among Men title will rise from the ashes. Magamasa, I appreciate your offer, and it is clear that you are worthy to hold the 24-7 title, so therefore, I grant it to you, good sir. Do with it as you will. Oh. I look forward to studying this illustrious title. And soon I will use it to create something even more. Even more? Even more! Even more? I understand now why they hate you so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, now that I have come for what I've really wanted, I will take my leave. Uh, uh, hey, hey. What? He takes the belt, and now I just leave it. What kind of a show do you got here? I mean, this is the Masters 8. It's the 8 of us. 9 with the stupid Lou Pantigan game at the end. Lou is fighting who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 Skeletor, 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 look, 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 look. See, the thing is about the Masters 8, um, we don't actually know who's fighting who. Because... Lashana Decree, Lashana Decree had a very interesting idea, and she said, hey, why not put it through a randomizer, y'all? <laughs> okay. 
that that was her words, not mine. So everybody, everybody, we are going to see who is our first match. Are you ready? Randomizer. Good. Uh, go on. Lupin and Jigen versus Phoenix Wright. Oh, okay, okay. Match two of the night. What? Pikachu Libre versus Spicy Burrito. That's okay. Match three of the night. What? Gaston versus CM Punk. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That means since we've already announced six people, the last match is, oh no. The last match of the night is going to be Roman Ryder versus Skeletor. This, this, Roman Ryder versus Skeletor. Skeletor, did did you have a hand in this? Ah, uh, maybe. This is your matchup for the Masters 8.